I spend most of my free time doing these main projects, but often I'll be doing something and think of a useful thing I could print. So I write it down and this list has been getting pretty long, so I'm gonna do something about it today. I change nozzles pretty often and it's really annoying to get them out of these ziplock bags. So I want to print a box that will hold all of my nozzles and it will be mounted right here so it's a part of the printer. This is a case that holds a single nozzle. I modeled this to test out the dimensions because I want to print this as a single piece so this joint has to be perfect. When you close the case I want this to be press fit so that's another reason. I've already printed this and it looks fine so I designed the final part. It has the nozzle sizes printed at the bottom. It has four mounting holes. It also has this handle to make it easier to open. And it will hold 8 by 3 that's 24 nozzles. So I'm gonna print this and let's see how it looks. I've just took out the case and it works as expected. The press fit holds the case closed, so even if you shake it, the nozzles don't fall off. But some of the holes are too tight, so the nozzles don't fit. So I'm gonna drill them with a 6mm drill. To mount the box onto the 3D printer, I'm gonna be using these slot nuts, which I don't have, so I printed them, and for the thread I use these heated inserts. These are great, if you don't have them, buy them. And this is just a special nut I printed, so I can screw the nozzles into my 3D printer easily. So yeah, this box is great, I've already used it a couple of times to change a nozzle. And it's a million times easier. If you want to print it yourself, I'm gonna put some STL files in the description. And you can also buy the heated inserts if you want to. There's a few other things I want to print as well, so I'm just gonna speedrun them. I got these mini screwdrivers and it's really annoying to have them like this, so I want to print a part that will hold them together. Another thing I would like to print is a clip for these pliers, so they will stay closed and I can fit them into the drawer of my 3D printer. Something like this. And the last thing I want to print is a guide for this cable. Because I have this mouse and the cable gets stuck because of this speaker. So I want to print a part that will guide the cable around it. And this fan is also pretty shit, but that's for another video. Let's start with the screwdrivers. So I printed this part with holes. And these holes will hold the screwdrivers and it should be press fit. So this big screwdriver fits in well, but these smaller ones don't fit at all. It's quite hard to get the press fit right for all the sizes, so I'm probably gonna change the design. Second try. I added these slots so the part should be more flexible and therefore forgiving. Yeah, it's still pretty awful. I think there's still too much material, so I'm gonna remove more of it. Third time's a charm. I removed more of the material, so it bends even more. Okay, first one looks good. And the other ones fit in as well. I think this looks pretty shit, but it works, so I'm happy with this. The clip for my pliers should be pretty easy to make. Right now I'm just measuring the dimensions and I'm gonna put them into CAD and then print it. First try. 
Even the fit is really good. This is the cable guide, it's just a hole that goes 90 degrees and I've just stopped it mid printing because I've made a pretty stupid mistake. So this part has a single hole which the USB doesn't fit through, so I have no way of actually getting the cable inside of it. Therefore I added a hole at the top in CAD and I reprinted the part. So now I'm just gonna glue it to my desk and see if it works. Yeah, I should probably clean my desk too so the glue sticks to it. Nice. The last thing I'm gonna print is a holder for these plates because I left all the time and it's really annoying to pick the plates up from the ground. So I'm gonna print something that will hold them upright. I've just measured these three plates and then I've put them into CAD. The modeling was pretty easy, I just had to make sure that the plates don't touch the ground. This part is gonna hold a pair of plates and there's gonna be three of them. This part barely fits onto my 3D printer and it's gonna print for 7 hours, so I'm gonna let it print overnight. The printing went well and it's really easy to take the plates out and put them back in. Although this back piece isn't strong and it bends quite a lot, but I'm not printing this again. Beautiful. Now I can get back to making robots.